Hi guys, I'm Karen. Welcome back to Karen Cabot Puzzles. Today, I'm gonna to be trying something a little bit different for me. Rather than doing just a straight time lapse with nice music of this puzzle, instead, I'm going to be doing a full-on review, deep dive into the Canvas Puzzle by Cloudberries. Before I get into it though, I just wanna give a shout out to jigsawjunkies.com, which is a blog about jigsaw puzzles, and they have an entire brand comparison page which has so much information about like every jigsaw puzzle brand and i kind of uh stole some of the criteria that i'm going to be judging this puzzle on from them so if you want more jigsaw puzzle reviews i'm going to put that link right down below i'm not affiliated with them in any way it's just when i found the site i was like this is what I need in my life, and I, maybe some of you puzzlers will find it useful as well. Anyway, today I'm going to be looking at the Canvas Puzzle by Cloudberries. Cloudberries is a fairly new puzzle brand based in the UK, and they did send me this puzzle and all of, all of their other puzzles that I have by them for free but this isn't a sponsored video. Um, everything that I'm gonna say is my honest opinion. First, let's look at the box. I love how modern and simple the design is. The front of the box has the entire picture of what's on the puzzle without any of it being covered up or getting cut off. And then the rest is a really simple gray background with white text. And then on the back, it's just a solid gray. I love that all of their puzzle boxes match and they're all the exact same size and they're just a really nice, simple design. So you could totally have these out on display and it wouldn't look messy or cluttered. The one thing I do wish though is that I wish one side of the puzzle boxes had a little thumbnail of what the puzzle looks like because right now all of them are just white and gray. And so if you have them stacked here, you just kind of have to know what they look like or you have to pull it off the shelf to look at the front. Oh, five puzzle boxes are kind of heavy. <laughs> All right, so when you get the puzzle, it is shrink wrapped. So you just have to cut off the plastic. Then inside the pieces come in a plastic bag that you have to cut open. There's nothing else that comes with it. No catalogs or posters or anything like that. The pieces themselves are mounted on a light blue cardboard. It's pretty neutral, not quite as blue as the Ravensburger puzzles, but not just a straight gray either. The pieces feel pretty thick and high quality, and the picture is really well glued onto the front, so I never had an issue with it peeling up from the corners or the cardboard peeling up from the back. The printing is kind of a satin finish, not totally glossy, but not totally matte either. There is quite a bit of puzzle dust that accumulates both in the box and on the table as you're working on it. It doesn't really bother me since I can just blow it away, but it is a little annoying. And a few pieces did come put together where they weren't completely cut apart, but it was only a couple and they were pretty easy to just pull apart as I was sorting out the pieces. So this puzzle has a lot of fun colors and designs. I began by sorting the pieces into the completely white pieces, the colorful pieces, and the edges. And the sorting took me about 15 minutes. After that, it was time to start working on the puzzle itself. This puzzle is a thousand pieces and it measures about 27 by 19 inches. And that is the perfect size for me because not today, but sometimes I do puzzles on foam core, which usually measure 20 inches by 30 inches. And so this one will fit completely on the foam core without any of it hanging over the edge. You guys know that I love any puzzle with bright colors, and I also like puzzles that aren't 
frustratingly hard. I just don't find it fun to be staring at pieces and not making any progress. So I really liked this one because it had several distinct sections that were easy to separate and put together, so you always felt like you were moving forward and making good progress. And the colors are beautifully printed and saturated, which I love because if I'm going to be staring at something for three hours, I want it to be colors that make me happy. I think this would be a really fun one to do totally blind by hiding the box and just figuring out where all of the sections go as you work on it. I just couldn't do that for this video because I didn't want to end up with even more footage to edit. So the second hardest part of this puzzle was this dark section right here, but that's also partly because my light was shining directly on it and I couldn't look too closely at it without blocking the shot with my head. But then, absolutely the hardest part of this puzzle was all of the white pieces at the end. There are some sections where it's slightly more yellow or it has a little bit of texture, but you're gonna wanna do this part in really good lighting so you can really see all of the very subtle color differences. I ended up resorting to my little trick of separating out the pieces by shape, which definitely helped the last 50 pieces or so go in much more quickly. All of the pieces are standard puzzle shapes and there aren't any weird ones in there to have to worry about. I also did not have a problem in this puzzle with pieces seeming to fit where they didn't actually go. That's an issue I had with their earlier mountain puzzle, which is more of a gradient with less texture, but that was one of their very first releases, so it seems like they have totally solved that issue in their later puzzles. And that's the puzzle! As I said, I really loved this one. I'm sure it is one that I'm going to be returning to over and over. Once I finished sorting the pieces, it took me a little under three hours, which is definitely on the quicker side for a thousand piece puzzle. But I would definitely say that this is a very easy puzzle, except for all of the white sections at the end. Everything else is very distinct and it's easy to tell where on the board all of the pieces are gonna go. I realized that I never showed you guys whether the pieces interlock tightly, so I broke off a section here. You can see that as long as you hold it carefully, you can pick up and move large sections. However, they're fairly loose, so you wouldn't be able to pick up the entire puzzle at once. If you wanted to hang it up, you would definitely have to glue it together. But it's not like the pieces just crumble apart if you try to move a large section.
So since I talk about these a lot, I've had a few of you asking me where to get the Cloudberries puzzles. You can see the prices on their website. They're about 23 US dollars. When I plugged in my city though, unfortunately the shipping came out to be more than the puzzle itself, which is a crazy price for a puzzle. And it was the same price on Amazon, except for the Gradient puzzle, which is currently $25 on Amazon Prime, so you don't have the extra shipping cost. I didn't actually realize that the shipping was gonna be so expensive to the US, so now I am extra thankful to them for just sending them to me for free. I really hope that the puzzles will be available in the US soon for less of a shipping cost. Um, if they let me know when that happens, I'll definitely tell you guys on Instagram. If you're in the UK though, I'm sure the shipping will probably be a lot less, so you can get them on their website, and I'm gonna have that linked for you right down below. These puzzles are really beautiful. I'm so happy that they got in contact with me when they saw that I am really into jigsaw puzzles because honestly, they're some of my favorites now. I can definitely recommend them. So make sure to stay tuned for the long longer cuts of the puzzle time lapse without any of me jabbering on in the background. It'll be much more like calm and meditative. You can just see me put the whole thing together both in a slightly sped up to like an hour long and then also the real time time lapse which will be like two and a half hours long. So those will be up very soon. I'd love to know in a comment right down below if you guys like this new review format for a video or if there's anything else that you want to know about the puzzles that I didn't cover, or if there are any other puzzle brands that you especially want me to cover. The next review is going to be of a Seiko puzzle, this really fun rainbow ice cream one. So stay tuned for that. And I think that I have chattered on long enough about jigsaw puzzles. I'm gonna go. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.